lifeguards are not everywhere on the beach. Life-saving flotation devices washed away during Hurricane Irma. Now back on the Space Coast and already saving lives. Now the goal is to make sure people know about them. The news station's Mike Magnoli live tonight with this story. Hey, Mike. Stephen and Luann, here's one of the uh, rings, and they're set up on spots on the beach where you're kind of far away from a lifeguard tower. Well, folks see them when they arrive on the beach, but then forget about them. So the city wants you to take note and, if need be, take action. If somebody's in trouble, go and help them. Eden Menkovic is a father on vacation in Florida from Chicago. He'll watch the kids like a hawk while they're swimming, and if he ever saw someone else in distress, he says he'd go running in. It's just a new nature. But rather than running in empty handed, Eden could grab a life ring from the closest post. The Cocoa Beach Rotary Club has installed 42. After Hurricane Irma, all but one was lost, but they've recently been replaced. And in the past two months, Good Samaritans have used them. Most recently, last week, when a group of people rescued a woman from a rip current, they formed a human chain, went into the water, and used one of the rings to help keep her head above the water. This again was quite a ways from the uh, from the lifeguard station, and so the public had reacted properly. We're on our way. Richard Charpentier is the acting president of the Cocoa Beach Rotary Club. As the summer beach season begins, Charpentier wants to raise awareness. The rings are there because lifeguards leave at five o'clock, and even when they're on duty. They can't be everywhere. We don't have enough lifeguards to, to have the whole beach covered, so they save lives. And now is the time of the day when the lifeguards are packing it in, but you still have a nice crowd out here, so if the situation ever arises, these are grab and go. Live on Cocoa Beach, I'm Mike Magnoli, Fox 35 News.